Hi, and welcome to a video on Dark Comet and ECAT. This video is the second in a three-part series showing how ECAT can defeat threats that AV can miss. In the first video, we showed you how to use Dark Comet to create custom malware that can evade AV detection and take control of a target computer. In this section, we'll show you how ECAT can detect a compromising infected machine and analyze the results. We'll now go into the ECAT console and select the target machine that was previously infected and scan it. We'll skip ahead now to a point where the scan is completed. An earlier scan showed the MSL or machine suspect level at zero. When we refresh the results in the console we see that the MSL is now 97, triggering an alert. Let's drill down on this machine and see what's happening. ECAT lists by category an inventory of everything it found. We can start with the drivers section, but we see that everything here is whitelisted and ECAT hasn't flagged anything and suspicious. So now let's look at the process category. Here we can see one suspect item that's not green or whitelisted, and that's Internet Explorer. If we look at the suspect reason for this process with the suspect level of 51, we can see that one of the reasons attributed by ECAT for the high suspect level is image mismatch, meaning that ECAT found different code loaded in live memory compared to what was found on disk. Going now to the DLL category, we see ECAT detected floating code in the Internet Explorer process. ECAT automatically pulled down that injected code to the server for further analysis. We right click now on the module and choose Analyze Module to view the live memory image. In here, we can search for strings or look for different parameters in the memory image. For instance, we can see static analysis results such as the file entropy and other characteristics. Going deeper, we go to the Auto Run section. First, we hide the previously whitelisted files for better visibility. ECAT shows us we have a file SVC host that is loaded automatically at login. That file has a relatively high suspect level of 23. It is a legitimate name from Microsoft, but ECAT has identified it as not signed and a potential threat. ECAT has also identified a number of Windows hooks. The malware is injected into Internet Explorer keyboard hooks to do key logging. Now let's go to the Network Connection section. Here we can see that malicious floating code has been used to initiate a connection to a remote IP address, the address of the command and control server for Dark Comet that we created earlier. ECAT can differentiate between connections made by malware and regular network connections made in the browser by the user. The malware issued a command to this IP address and ECAT detected that as highly suspicious. All that put together made ECAT assign a machine suspect level of 97, or very suspicious, to the target machine. In conclusion, in this video we saw a machine previously infected by Dark Comet was scanned by ECAT. ECAT raised the machine suspect level from 0 prior to infection to 97 after the scan. ECAT did this by identifying Windows hooks, floating code, and network traffic, amongst other things, that were suspicious. Investigating further, we confirmed the machine was compromised, even though signature-based AV detected nothing. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for part 3 of our series where we show you how to identify if other machines on the network have been compromised, and how to gather forensics data and remediate using ECAT.